Hello friends, in this video we are about to see on how to use Max ERP software for plywood, timber and glassware businesses. Uh, we'll just log into the company and we'll see the calculation details today. So we'll just start with the masters menu first and we'll create a couple of customers and vendors. So in Max ERP you can manage your complete business operations including your accounts, GST returns as well as the MIS reporting options too. Uh, to begin with this demo, we'll just create a couple of masters first and see the basic calculation details involved in plywood, timber and glassware business operations. So let's say we create a customer saying uh, Deco World. You can uh, subgroup your clients as premium clients or corporates or government or hospitals or something like that. And based on the subgroups, you can generate different reports. Uh, each of this client can have n number of billing and shipping addresses. Maybe if you are supplying to some uh, different sites, then you can have different different shipping addresses. So you can have multiple shipping addresses and a common billing address. And you can just have this uh, complete details. Nothing is mandatory in the masters, yet uh, your master should be uh, detailed in a detailed way. It should be filled with all the details so that you can gen generate all this combination of reports that you expect from the software. So if you fill in correct area, city, pin code, state, you will be able to generate area wise sales, city wise outstanding, all that. So I'll just quickly uh, I'll just put some mobile number here and I'll just save this master. Okay, the same mobile number exists. State is mandatory as per GST. So let's say So I've just created one client saying Kube Deco. Uh, similarly, we'll create one of your suppliers. Let's say we create a supplier saying like our sales and we can save it again. Let's say straight Tamil Nadu. After that, we can have the other accounting heads. See anything other than your customers and vendors, which is your Sunday data and creditors. Uh, all these accounting heads will come here in general ledger, wherein you can create your bank accounts, you can create your capital accounts, loan, assets, head advances, liabilities, everything. So let's say we just create something called office expenses. So you just have to make sure that you give the correct accounting group to it. So all your expenses will fall into expenses indirect, uh, except your freight charges or something like your trans transport, which will come into direct expenses. Uh, your bank account also can be created. Let's say you have a bank in HDFC bank. So you just have to make sure you define the bank to the bank account. And once this is done, uh, likewise you can create your account, other uh, accounting heads that are used in your business operations like uh, rental charges or capital account or partner's capital account or freight charges, whichever it is, under the general ledger menu. After general ledger, we can create a different salesperson that are involved. So this salesperson can be internal salesperson also who are handling the businesses on the counter or it, there can even be an external salesperson like your interior or architects uh, whoever or the carpenter who are getting you the businesses so you can create all the, those list uh, in this uh, we already have created couple of salesperson so you can have the sales we have just created name saying sp1 sp2 so you can manage their name address mobile number details and you can save this you can define their commission percentage here as well as you can even define the commission percentage for individual customers or on the overall turnover you can define uh, the commission percentage dynamically and generate their incentives. After the sales person, we can create products. Uh, we'll create different combination of products that are involved in the business. So we have your different product types called general, timber, beading, arc rings, logs and glassware. So we'll see a sample of uh, all these uh, products calculation uh, or the creation as well as the purchase and sales of this. So, we have created a sample product here, which are there in the product list report. So we'll see an example of all of this. So let's say if we just select uh, this product, so we have, it will open the masters for the product here. So we have just grouped them under beadings and we have defined the correct product type for this product. It is beading here. We have defined the HSN code and the GST number, the unit for the product and the landing cost and the selling rate here. You can even define minimum quantity, maximum quantity, reorder quantity as well as the lead time 
for your reorder management along with the preferred vendor name so whenever you place a order the preferred vendor will be the one uh, who will be selected by default for the purchase order management you can even change this vendor name while writing the PO so there's no additional details here we have just uh, made sure that we are defining the correct product type and the correct unit for timber we have selected the product type as uh, timber and the unit as CFT and rest is uh, all the common general details uh, Favicol will be a standard product uh, which will be built in numbers so your product type will be just general and unit type is general uh, numbers you have defined the landing cost and the sales rate for this product for plywood products you have to again select general but here uh, we have defined a group saying plywoods category waterproof and brand as green lamp uh, the primary unit name is sheets and then we have defined as per 8 into 4 we have 32 square feet in a sheet so we have mentioned the alternate unit as 32 and the unit name as, as SQF the square feet and rest uh, we have defined the per square feet rates here so we have not defined any uh, selling rate so you can even edit and let's say we define the selling rate as 75 rupees per square feet see we have an option for group category and brand so you can always generate your stock reports as well as sales report based on this group category and brand you can find out plywood wise what all stocks you have in hand or waterproof wise what all sales have happened or what all stock is available in hand same way green lamp brand wise what all stock is available with us or total sales made as per the brand so i'll just save this product uh, again laminates are same like a standard pavicol kind of product wherein we have sheet wise inventory management glassware uh, here we are defining uh, group as glass make sure that the product type is being glassware and defined correctly uh, in the category you define plain glass and Saint Gobain is the brand name that we have defined for the glassware products we are even defining the minimum charge length and the length per piece so it's basically 12 inches uh, per uh, piece minimum billing and uh, minimum charge length we have defined here is 3 inches so even if that's, uh, your billing has to be in the combination of 3 inches in case we are billing one inch if you're billing the customer one inch the actual size would be one inch but your billing size will be calculated as per three inches so customer will be billed as per three inches so if you're billing a client for uh, 10 inches the billing will be for 12 auto calculation will happen based on this so here we have the primary unit name as square meters let's say if you're buying in square meters and if you're selling in square feet even that combination is possible so we are buying in square meters here and then we have defined the HSN code GST class, square meter uh, landing cost and the selling rate for per square meter. Then we have defined a multiple unit here. So the secondary unit that we have defined here is uh, for one square meter is equal to 10.76391 square feet. So that's an auto conversion happening. So as per the purchase rate and the landing cost and the selling rate gets auto calculated for per square feet. So parent unit is square meter and the child unit is square feet and the calculation details that we have mentioned here we can even define the default inward unit and the output unit the inward unit is for purchase whenever you are purchasing the goods it will come in square meter and whenever you are selling by default the square feet will be uh, calculated or will be selected by default you can even change it while billing then we have a product called timber so for timber we are just defining the timber log sorry so we are just defining the product type as log and it will automate, automatically calculate in uh, cubic meters and we have defined the 5 decimals for this product so it will auto calculate the uh, length into girth calculation while billing so we will just quickly move into the purchase we have all the menus right from your quotation generation we have sales menu wherein the first half of the screen is for transaction second half is for the reporting same is the case with purchase and the other menus first half is all about transaction second half is all about the reports so we have not defined any opening balances or we have not taken any opening stock yet we are directly starting with the purchase in this demo purchase also can start right from the purchase order where we can convert the order or track the pending orders and convert partially to a goods receipt note or a GRN and from there we can convert the GRN to purchase so in this demo we will directly start with the purchase voucher itself 
So your, in, your will define the invoice number, the supplier invoice number 1 to 3, the date of entry, the actual invoice date, whether it's a cash purchase or a credit purchase. We'll define the invoice amount at the beginning, let's say 50,000 rupees. Uh, then we'll select the vendor name uh, saying, let's say Mica Sales Corporation. So once we select the vendor name, uh, you get the current outstanding year. His GS number, mobile and email is missing in the database. You get a last 12 months performance graph at the bottom. So when all, which all date, how much purchase you have made, all those details can be seen here. Uh, so whether it's a CGST or SGST it, or IGST based taxation, well, that will get auto calculated, auto generated based on the state that you have selected in the vendor master. Similarly for the customers also. Uh, so for Mica sales, let's say we're buying, we'll take an example of all the products purchased here. So we'll, to start with, we'll just start with, uh, let's say, uh, green lamp plywoods. So we are buying some 10 sheets. So automatically system calculates it's 32 square, I mean 320 square meters, uh, square feet. And rate per square feet. So once you come to rate, it will automatically show you the previous supply rate history for green lamp plywood products from Mica sales corporation. So in case if we are buying at 55 this time, we can just change the values here. Uh, secondly, we'll buy, make purchase, let's say, Burmatic, and we can directly mention the total square feet that you're buying, square, uh, sorry, cubic feet. Let's say around uh, 50 cubic feet. Then we'll take a glass fed product. Let's say you're buying total square meter of uh, 30 square meters. And we'll take an example of uh, new mica laminates. Let's say buying another 25 sheets of this. And then we'll take what we call 5 kg. Let's say buying 50 boxes of this. And our uh, drinks. Let's say running feed, we're buying some 500. So I think we have covered up all the product purchases. Uh, okay, we have not selected the log. So we even buy the log. Let's say you're buying log at uh, some 40 cubic meters at 4 lakh. So if there is any expenses which have been billed by the vendor, you can mention those charges here in the freight charges. Uh, let's say let's say charges of uh, 4,000 rupees towards the freight and if there's any loading unloading charges, if we can configure the different expenses that are required here and we can quickly save it. In the other details, we can even mention uh, the LR number, the LR date, number of cases from which transport the goods have arrived, e-wable number, transport of GST, freight amount to paid or paid, vehicle number, default rate days provided by the vendor, and against which PO number. We can even mention any remarks that is required and we can save this transaction. So upon saving, now it is uh, saying us a message saying amount does not match with supplier's invoice amount. So we have mentioned the invoice amount here at 50,000 but the bill total is 7,77,018 rupees. So this way we will always have 100% accuracy because without this, it will, it will validate the invoice amount which has been mentioned at the beginning and at the, which is being generated as per the entries uh, before saving the transaction. So even if there is any single quantity or uh, rate mismatch or if you have missed out any product in the purchase, this will not get valid, I mean this will not let you save. So this will this way will always have 100% accuracy while purchase. So I have saved this transaction. Uh, after purchase, we can directly come to inventory and we can see the stock report. So once we select the stock summary and click show, it says five call. Uh, we have this many pieces, beadings, Saint Gobain glass, all that. If you want to see brand wise, you have option of seeing brand wise, category wise, and we can see brand wise. Green lamp, we have one product. New Mica, we have PD light, we have one product. So you can see a brand wise uh, stock report also. Wherever there's a detail, you can just press enter and you can uh, jump into the transaction details. So it says that the invert has happened from new Mica. And once you press enter here, you can even jump to the purchase transaction. So after the purchase, we'll just look into the sales part of it. Uh, so the sales menu, again, we can start right from the sales order. Or we can just uh, give the goods on a delivery note basis or kind of an approval basis or a sales challenge basis. Uh, in this demo, we'll directly start with the sales invoice and see how the calculation works for each of this product. So let's say we are selling goods to uh, Seven Hills Construction. So Seven Hills Construction, it shows an IGST because it is from a different state. So IGST has come automatically. 
the salesperson who is involved here so you can just select sales salesperson one uh, first we'll select, select green apply wood product so green lamb uh, how many sheets are you selling let's say you're selling five sheets so 160 square feet have come automatically and the default selling rate comes here so for seven hills what all rates you have supplied these products earlier those rate history will come here and in case if you are selling at a different rate you can see the last supply rate comes automatically by default and you, if you change it to 90 rupees this time the next time the bill will automatically I mean for this product the rate will come 90 by default for this particular client second we will take uh, a timber product let's say Burma teak so once we select timber product it will ask us the length width and the thickness of the product let's say length of uh, 10 width of 7 thickness of 5 and 10 pieces so it says us cubic feet as well as cubic meters both are being shown on the screen let's say we can have multiple uh, timber values under a single product let's say under length of uh, 15 by 6 4 5 pieces likewise we can have n number of products one below the other so here its total number of pieces is 15 and uh, we have the total cubic feet calculated here uh, next we'll take a product of uh, glassware so once we select the same common glass it is asking me the details like what is the input for your sales so whether you're adding the values in mm or you're entering in centimeters or you're entering in inches and what is your default output unit whether it's a square feet based billing or you're billing the customer in square meter so we can bill in any way however we it's required for us so let's say we are billing in square meters and we are putting the values in inches so you can mention your default uh, height in inches so let's say height here we are mentioning as uh, 10 feet so once we select 10 here the charge height gets calculated as 12 as per the minimum length so minimum length is 3 inches so as per the calculation of that 10 inches will be will be billed as 12 inches same is the case with width where if I mention 15 inches it will be 15 only but if we define as 16 it will calculate as 18 let's say at 10 pieces of uh, or 5 pieces of this this length again we can have another length of let's say 16 by 24 another 5 pieces likewise we can have n number of details one below the other and say we can have another 19 by 21 22 so total number of pieces are 20 and this is the square meter so 5.23 after classes we will take an example of uh, a log so timber log will ask you the girth calculation so length let's say length of uh, 40 with the girth of 25 10 pieces 50 by 20 another 20 pieces so this way you can have this calculation done here after this we can have a product for beading which will be in running feet so it will ask you for the length let's say 15 by 10 7 by 10 8 by 10 so running feet by spelling is being done here then your laminates that's a new mica laminates you're selling 10 numbers of feet at 1500 each and if you recall let's say 5 boxes at 600 or you can even change the rate here as 590 we can even have discounts defined on the individual product wise as well as we can have con discount configured on the entire bill so product wise also you can define the discount percentages and on the overall bill also you can define either discount percentage or a flat rounded amount too and if you have any additional expenses again freight or unloading loading charges you can configure the expenses here for your example in this demo i'll just mention uh, a 500 rupees here for your expenses other details you can fill in the LR number and the date or the transport the transportation details here and then you can directly save the transaction so once you save it will ask you do you want to send a whatsapp so if the whatsapp is connected you can directly send the invoice over whatsapp or else you can just see a preview of it 
so now once we see the preview of this uh, this print is there by default in A4 format so entire details of uh, length width thickness quantity and of for individual product for glassware as well as timber beading and log everything will get displayed here on the screen uh, on the bill we can configure these details uh, in an A4 quarter size format or A4 half size format A4 full size in the landscape as well as uh, portrait format however is required so this is uh, customizable as required and the details are very clear here you can even send this uh, bill over an SMS as a PDF link or directly you can even see the preview and send a WhatsApp or you can email in, in different number of formats you can even export this invoice in this many formats here after this we were coming back to this we will again see the inventory report and see the stock summary here so now it, it says the clear details here for us where uh, total number of uh, what is the opening inward outward and closing this opening inward outward and closing can be seen for a particular month or a particular week also where in this week we can check what is the total opening for the week total inward that has happened in the week total outward of the week and the closing left any product you can just press enter again and jump to details and it will show you that there has come, as, come inward from a micro sales as a purchase and then we have made a sales to the 7 inch construction wherever you can press enter and jump into the transaction details now, there are a lot of uh, minor uh, options available uh, which we which I will not be able to explain in the current demo but while you said we have a lot of other options where you can attach documents against each or we can make a copy of a sales voucher or we can quickly return the goods from here we can see the user action log against each of the transaction uh, which user have done the editing uh, which user have added or which user have taken the print number of print count is there previous next uh, for a particular account can also be seen so a lot of small small options which you will be uh, exploring while you word with the demo and use the application in the real time okay so once this is done after this talk we can directly go to your accounting part of it and you can see the outstandings here so here we can see the bills receivable which will show us there's one bill due from Seven Hills Construction uh, for 1,53,265 similarly we can just go for your accounts outstanding and payable which will show us the list of all bills which are yet to be paid uh, if there's any purchase return that can be adjusted against this invoice itself even a sales return can be adjusted against an existing sales invoice so we have these options available in the respective menu right now for the accounting part let's say we are getting a receipt from the customer so we select receipt here we can select the cash or the bank account where we are receiving we can select the date of receipt and then we have to mention the customer name so let's say we are receiving from seven hills so once we select seven hills it shows the current outstanding of 1,53,265 let's say we are getting a rounded value of uh, 1 lakh for now and customer is asking us to for a discount for 3265 uh, 3, so we can have this 1 lakh adjusted here and we can even have this uh, 3265 as a discount so that the current outstanding balance left for the customer is 50,000 rounded and we can mention the customer bank name and mention his check number and any remarks against the receipt and save this so after this receipt we can just go to the accounts again and see the ledger report so once we select seven hills construction it shows us the complete detail so we can even opt out for product wise detail if it's not required in the ledger and we can just have a short detail here so that's a bill for this value and then we have a receipt for one lakh and 3265 was provided as a discount so the current outstanding for the customer is 50,000 rupees once we select the bill wise details here it can even show the same details here wherein uh, for the out of 153,265 the current balance is 50,000 only you can always open the plus sign and see the adjustment details against the bill whether it has been received or that has been partial sales return adjusted against the bill so whatever is the value we can see uh, live on the pending bill support itself Similarly, for making the payments to your vendors, you can just go to accounts and select payment. And you can just select your bank account and you can select your vendor name. Uh, Micah Sales. Sorry. 
So let's say we are making a rounded payment of 50,000 rupees for now. Uh, again, switch billet is being adjusted. You can, you can just mention this and you can mention your check number and save this. So similarly, once you go to the ledger of your vendor, Mica Sales, all these details will be shown here. So out of 777, 50,000 is adjusted, 727 is outstanding. And bill wise detail is also showing the same. Out of 777, 727 is pending. Similarly, if you are withdrawing some cash, then you can just, uh, or you are making any expenses towards freight or something out of uh, the check or office expenses, you can just mention the office expenses. Let's say uh, 1,500 rupees. You can make this. You can save it. So this was uh, was with the basic of uh, accounts. You even have complete option of uh, GST returns from here as well as there are a lot of MIS reports for bank reconciliation, interest calculation, depreciation chart, and TDS entries. We have complete final accounts of which will show you trial balance, profit and loss, and the balance sheet for the current entries that we have done. In the sales register, we can see all the combination of sales report wherein uh, total sales of the day can be seen. We can even filter this for a week's time or any particular date range that we want. Uh, we can have this general register and we can have group wise details shown here. So which all group products have been sold. There are a lot of summary options available here we can, where we can see brand wise total sales or we can see state wise sales, customer wise sales, sales person wise total sales made. There are separate salesperson incentive report available under the sales menu uh, where you can generate the payment reminders. We even have the sales report incentive report options available here. So this was with the basic uh, of the plywood timber and glassware demo of Max ERP. Uh, we have different editions available for right from the basic edition to an enterprise edition available for uh, glassware timber plywood industry. And uh, Almost it can help you in automating all your calculation details related to your business operations uh, which is involved for plywood, timbers and glassware and the logs As, and you can automate your complete uh, operations for sales and increase your team's productivity this way. So thanks a lot guys and thank you for watching this video.